Welcome to Simply Excel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to sort your data alphabetically. If your data is all in one block, like my example here, sorting data alphabetically is really simple. All we need to do is click on the column we want to sort by, so for example, first name, come to our sort and filter menu, and sort A to Z. And you'll see that sorted all our data A to Z by first name. If we wanted to sort on another column, for example, last name or country or venue, we could just click in that column and again come to sort and filter and sort A to Z. As always with Excel, you can also do this using the keyboard shortcuts. And that is pressing the Alt key and then H and then S to access your sort menu. And you'll see the menu come up there. We've got the options of S, O or U to sort A to Z, Z to A or bring up the custom sort menu. I've just inserted a few blank rows into our data so I can show you what happens if your data isn't all in one block. If we were to try sorting this now by just clicking in the last name column, coming to sort and filter and sorting A to Z, you'll notice that that's only sorted that top section of data above the first blank row. To sort your whole data set, you're going to need to select everything. So that's everything, including the header rows. Come up to the sort and filter menu. And then if we just use the sort A to Z shortcut, we can automatically sort on first name. And then if we want to sort on last name, we just have to click in that column. And again, sort and filter and sort A to Z. If we wanted to immediately sort this data by last name, again, we'd select all our data, come to the sort and filter menu and choose the custom sort option. Now you get a pop-up, which allows you to do quite a lot more with your sorting. So in this instance, we could just select last name, A to Z and say, okay. We've got rid of all our blank rows. They've just been sorted to the bottom of our data. Using custom sort, we could also sort using multiple columns. For example, we could sort by country and then add a level and sort by last name. So by doing that, we've got our athletes sorted alphabetically within each country. The other important thing to note when you're sorting data, if you are selecting data to sort, it's really important that you select all the columns. If, for example, we select just these first three columns, and then come and sort those A to Z by first name. You'll see that the year and venue columns weren't included in that sort. So we've disconnected that data so we could end up with errors in our data. That's just something to keep in mind when you're sorting. I hope you found this guide to sorting data alphabetically useful. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more Excel tips. Thanks for watching.